I've received some comments asking me to make a video about OpenTunes, so here it is. I think this software seems overwhelming at first glance since there are just so many features, but it's actually not that hard to understand. If you're ready, let's hop into today's video. So I have OpenTunes open. <laughs> you can create a new project. The default project is Sandbox. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it as default. And I can make a scene name. As you can see, my previous scene names have been very innovative. And we have the width and height at HD TV size, resolution 1920 by 1080. That's perfect. Um, I like inches and frame rate 24. This seems good, so I'm going to create my scene. We have our tools on the left side. Um, we have some properties on the right. There's lots of different workspaces. By default, we are in the drawing workspace, which is exactly what I'd like. And down here, we have our timeline. So to start things off, I'm going to make a new layer and basically we have them arranged in these columns. Just think of them as layers. We have three different types of levels. Levels are basically layers. It's just a different name for them. We have our new tunes raster level, our new raster level, and new vector level. I'm going to start with a raster level. Uh, I'm going to leave the name C and we can see that we have the option to put how long we want this level to show. So we're starting from the first frame and it ends on the first frame. You can always change this number later, but for now I might put two and I think everything else is good. So I'll hit okay. And now we have this layer here that extends for two frames that I can draw on. There's these little white corners here. When you play back your animation, it will play up to this frame. And then uh, if you have it set to loop, which the settings are here, so we have our play button and our loop button, it'll loop again after it reaches this frame. So I think I'll just leave this maybe around here. And I'll select this keyframe. And we see that this little white square came up I can extend this first keyframe for as long as I'd like or shorten it. And you can do that for each frame. So starting on my first frame, I'm going to select my brush tool. So I drew these eyes. Some notes about the brush tool, which are really good to know. So we have our size minimum and our size maximum. So our size maximum is determined by this slider on the right. And our size minimum is determined by this left slider. So if you have your pressure sensitivity set up, um, if you're using a tablet, what you could do is my minimum is currently at two and my max is at 24. So if I don't put too much pressure on my pen, and then I put more pressure. So this is basically 24 and this is two. So you can control how exactly you would like that to work. So let's say I want this to be my max and my minimum is only 50. So I can't get as much variation there. Or if I make my minimum all the way at one, you can get a lot more variation there. I think that feels good, one to 16. I, I personally like that. You can affect the hardness. So let's say I make this bigger again. Maybe that's too big maybe here. So this is with my hardness at 100. And if I have my hardness at zero, we see the line is drastically softer. And 
you can go for something in between so that you can get some pretty nice effects. I might leave my hardness at maybe 81 and you can change your opacity minimum and your opacity maximum. So uh, I want to erase some of these. So I'm going to go to my eraser tool here and there's similar settings so I can adjust the size, the hardness, and the opacity. So I might make my size bigger. Oh, okay. And I can erase it. Obviously, if my hardness is lower, then it'll have a much softer effect. Another thing that is really interesting about Open Tunes is that they give you this type feature. So right now it's set to normal, so it's just normal. Um, I can change this to rectangular and I can make a selection and then it'll just erase it. I can do freehand and use it like a lasso tool and it'll erase just whatever I circled. And there's polyline. Okay, I had to redo this all over again because for some reason, OpenTunes was like bugging out, I guess. <laughs> um, I would like make a line and then hit undo and it would just like delete my layer instead of um, my line. I don't know what that's all about. If anybody knows why that happened um, or if that's happened to anyone, feel free to comment about that because I was very frustrated uh, I thought I, I don't know, I, I thought I saved my work and then it just like, it didn't save? I don't know, it was, it was like a really weird uh, glitch that just happened. So I guess that's something to just keep in mind. I'm kind of sad because I kind of liked my old sketch better, but this is fine. So continuing from where we left off, I have this frame and I'm going to have my onion skin enabled by clicking on this dot here. I'm going to click on this frame and I'm just going to start making my second frame. So if I click this dot again and I turn my onion skin off, I can see how my layer looks. And I can extend my onion skin basically as far as I want and showing as many frames as I want. So I want to make an in-between for here and here because this is a big jump and you can do this just by having this layer selected and then just start drawing. Okay, so now I have this little animation. Onion skin. Um, if you just want to momentarily turn it off, you can double tap this circle here and it'll turn it off. Double tap it again and it'll show it. And when I hit this loop button, we sort of get this weird eye blinking loop animation. And let's say that I'm happy with this. I can go to render preview if i want to preview it but i'm pretty sure i like how this looks you can go to render output settings and change the settings of you know where it gets saved what the name is the frame rate the size and lots of settings here and then you can hit render now open tunes has its own folder uh on my laptop and that's where all of my stuff gets saved by default. So if I go to outputs, I see that it exported it 
as separate images. I don't want this. So what I can do, I can go to render and hit output settings. I'm going to save it in the outputs folder in my open tunes folder. You can save it to your desktop or wherever you want. Just press these three dots here and you can choose where your file gets saved. Right now we have it exporting as separate TIFFs. I don't want that. So I'm going to change mine to an MOV and I'm going to hit render. And we see that it rendered without the background. So by default in OpenTunes, the background will not export as white. It would actually export as transparent. To fix this problem, I'm going to go to Xsheet, Scene Settings. And we see that our background color is transparent. So I'm going to take my alpha slider here and move it all the way to 255. So now we see that our background color has changed to white. So now if I go to my output settings and we still have it set as a movie, I'm going to hit render. And now we have it saved with a white background. If I go in my files to find the MOV, we see that it got saved right here as an MOV with the white background. Now for my rating. For accessibility, 5 out of 5. It's free and easy to download. For simplicity, 3.5 out of 5. There's a lot of different features, so it'll take a while for anyone to master using this software, but it's easy enough where figuring out the basics can be done just by some experimentation. And for flexibility, 4 out of 5. The fact that there are so many features will allow you to be able to achieve lots of different styles and techniques. I have lots left to learn about OpenTunes, but if you liked this video, leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what else you'd like to see next. Have a totally awesome day and I'll see you next time.